Here we go, man. So starting at the bottom, at the lowest end of the scale, which I was a little surprised by, was the Skill brand. Now, you know, we've had some, some hit and misses with Skill. Of course, they make some good stuff, but they make some really terrible stuff as well. So this, <laughs> but I was surprised. I thought that there would be maybe a no-name brand um, as far as the cheapest, but this one came in at $39. So what do we get? for $39 from a reciprocating saw. I mean, this is a, you know, if you're gonna, this is, this is a wonderful tool to have because you can do so much with it, especially demolition. Uh, one question that I have is, does it have a keyless chuck? Does it have a keyless chuck? We've got a, oh, pretty, it just feels pretty solid. We've got a variable trigger, it looks like right there. And I think the housing is actually, oh, it is, it's metal. That surprises me too. Oh, yeah, right there. We kind of got that DeWalt style of keyless chuck that actually feels really good really good i was surprised i was surprised to see that the the skill brand was cheaper than the harbor freight so let's take the harbor freight here we'll do some comparison and see how these guys do i didn't realize you could buy harbor freight on amazon allen wrenches that must be for the foot there's nothing else in there this one has something very unique i've never seen before and it's supposed to rotate look at that that is crazy um that is really a crazy feature that's a good feature you know one time i've got a dewalt uh sawzall that allows you to chuck the blade both ways which i think is better well, this, this way because sometimes you get a tight spot in this handle sticks up and it becomes a real problem but that is actually very clever i don't know how durable it's going to be but it is innovative um side by side they look pretty similar just the feel of it though oh well, the skill feels actually a whole lot better it just feels a better trigger it feels a better plastic this is all metal is this metal here up front i don't know how they could possibly get away with the plastic front that is plastic, isn't it? Oh, it is plastic. That whole upper housing is plastic. We both have, looks like we've got a nice knurled chuck right there with the spring on it. That's good for quick blade changes. I can't see, oh yeah, this one here is it's hidden, but it's on the outside. I like this better. This is easier to get to. Uh, but this one, the Harbor Freight one was $10 more than the Skill. The cord's really crappy. Both of them pretty stiff cords. I, I, I do prefer the softer cords that are a little bit more pliable, like the welding cords. This is nice though. They do have a little thing for capturing the Allen wrench on there. I really appreciate that because you know you lose these things and you throw it in the toolbox and when you need it, you're looking around for it. So that's a nice feature. But just it's just my initial impression before we start torturing them. This is more robust. It's $10 cheaper and it feels a whole lot better. All metal, all plastic. This actually feels pretty good. Variable trigger is probably built in with a lock there. This one has a kind of the rheostat thing going on there. But uh, all right, let's let's get to the torture test here. So both these have the uh, pretty much standard now. The, you know, is it the Bosch style blade? Um, and it looks like this. We've all seen it before, right? I've been thinking, so how, I want to get the, I want to connect these two together and have them fight it out. Boy, that's a tight spring on there. Have them fight it out and see which one is going to be tougher. But there's only a, of course, we only have the connection on one side. And I was, how am we going to do this? So here's what we're going to try to do. I'm going to try to custom make a torture device here. I'll take the, one of these blades and we'll mark this off here and we'll. I'll build two ends on it. We'll grind that all over there, see if we can't connect them together and, uh, and see what happens here. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but I'm gonna start with two brand new blades. So, <laughs> so we need to do a uh, kind of a mirror image. <clears throat> we need to recreate this little profile on here on this one. So what I got there is I kind of estimated where that needs to be for, the, for these two things to really hammer, hammer on each other. Um, on that line needs to seat right in the shoulder right there. So what if we do this? What if we just trace, Purchase line that up there. Today. We'll trace this out and we'll just c create this, right? Recreate this with a hole like that and make the double 
make the double bitter there. Will, the, will these last or these, will those two tools just tear that up and break it? That we don't know. If that doesn't work, we'll have to get more drastic. But let's, get, let's get this cut out. I don't think I own the drill bit that can drill a hole through that steel. So let's see if we can't get the uh, snappy tom die grinder. I got a pointed one. Let's see if that'll burn a hole through her. The die grinder set, the tool of last resort. That's pretty a pretty fine point there. Let's see if we can get that to, that guy to. Just needs a little bit, just a little hole, but it, without that hole, it won't, it won't, uh, won't lock up. Give it enough time and space. Now well, it's going through. I, I got. I was gonna put the pla just maybe just burn a little hole with the plasma torch, but it's kind of, it's kind of a crude instrument. Good grief! I thought that compressor was never gonna run, shut off. Funny thing is when I turn the camera on, it runs for an hour. And then when I don't have the camera on, it fills up in about five minutes. Okay, so I got the plasma torch here. <laughs> it's just like trying to do surgery with a chainsaw. Um, I, if I, I don't, I'm gonna weaken it if I get too big of a hole. So I'm just gonna just really carefully hit it without burning my hair off. <laughs> that, was that was about it. I probably just crystallized all the metal and that's makes it weaker that's a pretty small hole right there not small enough though is it now that we've got that open let's let's put the die grinder on it see if we can't uh, expand that oh I went too big oh man it happens fast doesn't it well let's try it let's see if it fits in the chuck okay here we go I finally got it in there best I could that's a pretty precise you got to be pretty 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 precise but I think I've got it got it in there all the way uh, so there is our uh, custom built Punisher tool is that gonna hold up I don't, I don't know hopefully I got the, I wanted to get these shoes as close as possible oh yeah look at that there we go so now they're now they're connected uh, oh yeah they're connected. I don't know if that blade is gonna last there. If that doesn't work, we're gonna have to do something different. I have, I have another thing in mind. But let's, uh, well, let's see what happens. Let's see who, who's tougher. All right, who's gonna, who's gonna come out on top here, um, or who's gonna get a broken arm? Maybe the other one. I'm not sure what's gonna happen here. This is probably the first time this has ever been attempted. Let's make sure that those, uh, we got those shoes on there, good and tight. Oh, that one was loose. I'd be surprised if that uh, if that blade can withstand the abuse of this. I think we'll need to want to ease into it. Huh, it's really loose there. We'll want to ease into it and then uh, see if one, which which one uh, fails or catches on fire or who knows what. All right, those are pretty tight now. Okay, you ready? So, three, two, one. I'll just start. Should I? I'll bring them up tight. Oh, get this! Oh, oh. <laughs> well, oh, it popped out there. It popped out. It was going so good here. I got to revisit this. Okay, so I started the torture test, and of course the camera shut off. But it's okay because I, I forgot my respirator in the harbor. But it started smoking a little bit. So we're gonna. Continue now, okay. Well, definitely, the camera's running now. <laughs> let's, see. Let's, let's see what happens here. Okay, here we go. We'll ease into it. Oh, oh. oh no! I don't think this is safe. Oh, it's catching on fire! How long will it go? So, the, uh, the Chicago Electric, the Harbor Freight is. Uh, Oh, it's a little bit scary. It is uh, making a lot of noise. Uh, this, it's uh, it looks like the fire is out now, but it's definitely smoky. <laughs> How long will it go? How long can it hang on? 
Is it even working anymore? Hold on, let's run off here. Oh no, it's done. It's just the skill is uh, pulling up against the tool. <laughs> well, the, <laughs> the, the Harbor Freight is absolutely done. It's got nothing left. It still rotates. I'll bet. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at the rotation device still works. <laughs> It blew out a bunch of flame, and, and that was that. But the steel still. <laughs> well, that was uh, that was pretty exciting. I've never seen one blow a bunch of. Oh man, that thing is smoking so bad. I don't want to fill up the shop with that toxic Chinese smoke. Get them out in the yard. <laughs> See if it's safe to breathe in here yet. Wow. Now that. Yeah, it's not too bad. That is interesting. So here we have a tool that was a $10 cheaper. Um, no question. I mean, just the, the fit and finish and just the way it feels uh, built a lot better. But uh, I'd have to say that you can get a pretty decent uh, Sawzall for $39. <laughs> <laughs> Still works. All, all right. So what did we learn here today? Well, we learned, we learned what we already knew, that Harbor Freight power tools are not very good. Not very good at all. This one happens, this one I think is pretty, pretty decent. I'll use it. I'll try it on to put a big wood blade on there and do some, got a few six by sixes with it and see what happens. But uh, that was, <laughs> that was surprising. That was definitely surprising. All right, thanks for watching.